Hello, I'm Scott Winsett here in Hollywood, Los Angeles, the morning after the Oscars 2011 with our expert panel of style gurus. All three of them at the top of their game. They're going to show you how to lights, camera, glow. Hi, I'm Lucy Halperin. I'm a celebrity makeup artist living in LA. Hi, I'm Nicola Joss, celebrity skin finishing expert based in London. Hi, I'm Carly Seal. I'm a red carpet correspondent for TV Guide Network. So it was a really exciting Oscar red carpet last night, and we have chosen three of the best stars who we feel really represent the different looks that we saw on the red carpet. We have presenter Anne Hathaway, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Halle Berry. So let's start off with Anne Hathaway. What did you think about her makeup? I thought she was incredible all the way through. I love that she had she had the red dress and she had the prominent red lips. It was very much the classic Hollywood look. It was beautiful and, and skin was flawless. Everything that's on the red carpet is filmed in HD. It's photographed in HD, so everyone's aware how bare they can look. HD is the enemy, by oh, the way. <laughs> brutal. With Anne Hathaway, she has that beautiful, almost English rose skin. So it's about illuminating it up and making it radiant and glowing. And I think she hit that perfectly. And it's easy to do at home. Tiny little bit of wash off, um, Santa Pay tan will give you that balance on the skin. It will even out skin tone, and then you just drench the skin with illuminating product. She looked beautiful. She definitely was pale, but not pasty. Had a really nice glow, had the simple eye, the simple lip, because you cannot do both an eye and a lip, that's just way too much. Well, someone who I think got everything correct was Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes. Flawless. I love the nude lips, the dark eyes. I think she looks absolutely glowing there. Just a lovely soft colour on her skin. What we did for her was we gave her a base of colour. So she rocked a little bit of brown glow. And it suits her. It radiates in her skin. And then we added the gold illuminator. And what the gold illuminator does is it complements the gown. So she was completely finished. Again, it lets light bounce off. So she just looked glowing. Oh my god. I mean, her with a bit of a tan and this sexy, sexy dress with the smoky eye. I mean, I think this is at her best, looking younger than she did when she even won the Oscar all those years ago. Unbelievable, glowing. She looks like an Oscar. Well, speaking of hot, um, Halle Berry, when I was in the red carpet, our entire crew gasped like, oh my goodness, she looked insane. That frothy dress, I mean, Marquesa, it's gorgeous. Everything, perfect. She was my girl crush. I think her makeup was incredible. I think she used all the colors for the season, the bronzes, the golds, really dark colors blended in. They just accentuated her arm and eyes. She looked incredible. She had the nude lips with just the right amount of shimmer. Her skin was glowing. She just looked incredible. Her skin was melting me. She looked amazing. She's got those lovely warm tones anyway. She's got a great body. She doesn't need a lot of makeup, you're right. She just needs to accentuate those beautiful eyes. Her skin was rocking some glow. Her shoulders have great definition anyway, but with that color and that illuminating product on there, she looked stunning. She's caramel. You could lick her. She's, she literally is caramel. She's just perfection. So how can you get that look at home? Like, what are your top tips for getting the sort of perfect red carpet look? Okay, again, it's all about preparation. You need to take a little bit of time to prepare the skin. So you need to exfoliate and moisturize and then get your base color of tan on. You can do that, again, using a mousse and a mitt and just gently applying it onto the skin and layering it up to the achieved color that you want. All the girls, perfection. I thought really great Oscars this year. Everyone looked amazing. And the skin was definitely the best accessory. Do you know what? The skin is in. It's your largest, most precious living organ. You should really look after it. And if you do, it'll look after you. Yeah.